When Clark Sandside High School opened its doors in 1973, a group of parents and staff members wanted to find a use for its auditorium during the summer months. They created the Clarkton Summer Theater Festival program, a program where young thespians could show off their talents on stage. Once in his life to forget the past. I think it's just a, a nice social program. The kids get to, you know, pick up friends for life. They, they get to socialize during the summer. Teens who want to get involved in the program must commit to CSTF every Monday night through Friday night from the end of school until the second week in August. There are three areas of CSTF that a student can choose to get involved in. They are cast, crew, and orchestra. So for the kids that want to have uh, professional careers, the best thing for them is to actually meet and talk with people who are working in the theater. The main things the crew does for the, sh for the show, uh, they build the set, they paint the set, they run the lights, they run the follow spots. Um, they put all the physical elements that are needed for a show together. The music is, all the shows have done are really, really great. Um, and uh, just working with the pit is by far the, the most funnest part, because um, we do a lot of fun things. The show's director, Tom Gautieri, technical and writing director, Alan Seward, and musical director, Saul Block, have all begun their theater experiences early. About a thousand years ago, um, I would say the 60s, 70s, a long, long time ago. Professionally, uh, 12 years ago uh, in college, but before that, I had done it, you know, just as a hobby, you know, after school, just like the kids are doing here, school shows, community theater, that kind of stuff. Saul Block has been on the orchestra end of CSTF for six years. He's also the musical director for Nyack Middle School's past six production. Splash him out for everyone in this whole world to see. The colors of my life. There are many different reasons that CSTF participants get involved in this program. It is obvious that this experience is one that can't be beat. Um, it's a learning experience. So I wasn't able to be involved until 1990. So I've been with them since 1990. I got involved uh, because the old president, one of the former presidents, asked me to be involved. It's fun. <laughs> For one thing, I did a program like it when I was a teenager, and I got a lot of benefit out of it. I was hired as a rehearsal accompanist uh, in the Guys and Dolls production, and. That got me started, and ever since I've, I've been here. Because my wife forced me to. But I know, I, I, you know, she just said, why don't you join the board? And I said, you know, me, being a laid-back kind of guy, I said, uh, do I have to? She said, oh, come on, it's good for you. You've got to have to do something. So I joined the board, and from then on, I was here as well. Before students or adults can think about being in the program, they must first hear about it. Members of CSTF have their own story to tell. 1990. Five guys and dolls. I was a rehearsal accompanist for guys and dolls, and the next year I was assistant music director, and and so on and so on. This year, um, my uh, a good friend of mine told me that they were looking for a director for their summer production, and I saw it as a good opportunity to work with a bigger cast than I've worked with in the past. My friend Kim told me that. But well, my daughter uh, had a friend who was a gypsy. That was the first person we were supposed to. That was back in 1988. I first heard about CSTF about 1985 or so. There is a sucker born every minute. Each time that second hand sweeps to the top like dandelions up, they pop their ears so big, their eyes so wide. Though I beat them bona fide baloney with no truth in it. Why, you can bet I'll find some room to buy my corn. The staff members want each of the students to get something different out of the program. They want these memories to last for many years to come. I make demands of them that uh, that I would make of another professional. I try to be aware of the skill level that they have. Everybody's at a different level, and I try to uh, work with them on the level that they're at, but at the same time bring the whole level of production. Um, I want the students to get out of the program a, a sense of self-value, a sense that they can 
do things by themselves. Things shouldn't be a uh, challenge. Uh, things seem to be a challenge, but that they're able to to meet the challenge and rise to to the challenge. Not necessarily all to the same level, but at least if you give a power tool, when people said, I never touched a power tool before in my life, all of a sudden they've built a set, and they've done it. Working in a pit environment is certainly a different experience than playing in band or orchestra. It's a totally different environment, and I think it's a big learning experience for all the players. Yeah, I think a sense of professionalism, a sense of respect for the theater. I wanted to get a good idea about the theater arts. I mean, just to learn about how the Broadway show is produced and how all the different classes come together. But the most important thing is that they make friends for life. As meetings begin for the 29th season of the Clarkstown Summer Theater Festival, everyone hopes for a year as successful as years past. As spirits and energy levels run high after this year's production, no one can wait until next year. See you at the box office. I'm Seth Cohen for CCSD TV. <laughs>